Hello, welcome to our weekly devotion. Well, imagine walking down the street, minding your own business, and then someone walk up to you trying to give you tissue paper or a flyer, or ask for a donation. How do you normally respond? I, I confess, uh, sometimes I will pretend not to see them and quickly walk past them. Do you do the, that too? Well, if you do, don't. Well, last week, our staff team went to uh, Tiling Hall, Commonwealth, Holland V and Clementi area to distribute tissue paper and to, to invite people to come to our Christmas at Faith on the 23rd and 24th of December. It was a very tiring, it was very tiring standing in the humid uh, weather uh, with a thick skin. It was also a humbling experience. Some people treat you like a contagious disease and try to avoid you. Some look at you, look at their own devices, pretending not to see you and to walk past you quickly. And there are some who will scowl at you or frown at you as if you have committed a serious crime against them. Now, you can, Im can you imagine God's frustration in Isaiah chapter 65? In verse 1, God says, I was ready to be sought by those who did not ask for me. I was ready to be found by those who did not seek me. I said, here I am, here I am, to a nation that was not called by my name. God is standing right in the path of the people, waving his hand and saying, here I am, here I am. But the people pretend not to see him. Verse 2, I spread out my hands all the day to a rebellious people who walk in a way that is not good, following their own devices. My friends, when God is trying to catch our attention, it means there's something very important He wants us to, bring, to pay attention to. Sometimes it's because we are taking the wrong path. Or worse, we are taking a path heading towards destruction. In Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, God was trying to catch the people's attention, but the people ignore Him. Verse 12, When I called, you did not answer. When I spoke, you did not listen. But you did what was evil in my eyes and chose what I, what I did not delight in. And thus they ran into calamities. Verse 12, they shall be put to the sword. Verse 13, they shall remain hungry and thirsty and not be satisfied. They shall be put to shame. And verse 14, they shall find no joy and remain despair. My friends, it's very dangerous to ignore God. If God is trying to catch your attention, don't ignore Him. I don't know how God is waving His hand, shouting at you at this right this, this moment. But there is a parable Jesus told in Matthew 25, verse 35 to 40. He said, Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry, and feed you, or thirsty, and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison to go and visit you? And the king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did it for me. Sometimes God waves and shouts for your attention through someone who is crying for help. It could be the charity that the person on the street is asking for donation. Or it could be someone who is trying, just trying to make an honest living by distributing flyers. I'm not saying we must donate or take the flyer, but we could show some kindness to them. When we stood on the street distributing tissue papers uh, last week, while many people ignored us and avoided us like the plague, there were also a few kind souls who politely declined and smiled. Some even spoke words of encouragement. 
And this simple act of kindness perked us up. My friends, if you can't help, then the least you could do is to be courteous. Your simple demeanor might lift the spirit of a dechanted volunteer or the person who's just trying to make an honest living. Give a genuine smile. Be kind. Lift someone's spirit today. Don't ignore God. Have a blessed day.